checking out uh, San Pedro Harvest of mine. Pacanoi triceris is a cactus that's a South American um, grows on the mountains. Actually, it's not a, a desert cactus. Um, actually, it might grow in Mexico too. I don't. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's a South American cactus. I've got a few different kinds here. Um, it's just a pile, so I just thought I'd take a look at them real quick. This is uh, one thing about um, thorn um, thorns on uh, Peruvianus um, is that they're really soft when um, young. And so up to the first inch or so, they're going to be a really yellow and white. And soft. And then as they grow older, they'll get into a hard, harder white, woodier, um, anyway, they'll, uh, they'll turn white with age and they'll get really hard and they'll grow out to about two inches or so. And, um, this is a young, a young plant here. So, these thorns are, um, are young. Definitely do some damage. The, um, poisons and toxins that are in the uh, thorns are enough to leave a, 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 a nice wound for a while. You'll feel it. Um, if you get stabbed with uh, one of these thorns, it's, it's like a blackberry bush. It's got, you know, some type of, it's got like a poison in there that'll, uh, it'll sting for quite a while. And, um, the pachanoids are uh, much smaller usually no, you know, really teeny small thorns that are only like a millimeter in size, even though they still have the five to seven to nine point um, thorns. <coughs> it's, um, they're usually really small unless you get them from seed and grow them. Um, if you grow a huge batch from seed, then you can usually get some that are reverted back to an original strain. But a lot of uh, strains have gone, have been hybridized for commercial use, and um, so it's semi-rare to have a Triceras pachanoi with uh, more than a millimeter long um, thorns. Um, all right, and as far as um, points, points come with age. It's like a tree ring. Uh, this is a seven, seven points, you got five, four, and so on, and um, they're going to grow out, they grow out from everywhere, and every single one of these is an aerial, and this is um, where the new, this is the top of the cactus pretty much, so every thorn can be considered a the top of the cactus and it can fold out from within itself so even though this is growing this way it's also growing this way it's growing out and um, any part of this cactus can regrow itself like a worm it regenerates so um, it's definitely a pretty viable cactus and can last a, a year it could last in this tray for, you know, up to a year or so, just sitting there drying out. So, um, <coughs> definitely aren't in a hurry to have to, um, do anything with these. Um, they'll seek water, they'll retain their 90%, 89%, 98% water. So, they'll live off of, they'll live off of that for, their, most of their life. Um, for them to die drying out, it's going to take, uh, it could take years. So, um, if you wanted to 
dry these out. The ends need to be dried out and for proper growing. So um, that'll take a couple months um, as is. Otherwise, it'll mold and rot, and bugs are going to eat in it. So they're going to chow on the fresh parts. So that's another thing to consider. Um, you can definitely have them uh, dry out in a month or two, and then you can repot them. And uh, you could transport these, you know, for like a year or so if you needed to, and then, you know, um, let them regrow. Um, it's a pretty good plant. Um, for uh, long storage use, I guess, is the point I'm trying to make. It's pretty amazing. Um, I'm going to let these sit for a couple months and just hang out. They're rock hard right now. Um, that's how you want your cactuses always to be, is, is nice and tight feeling. And um, that shows that there's a good concentration of, uh, of health. It's a healthy plant. And when it's really soft, then um, you could probably use some watering. And um, other, I mean, that's for, you know, cylindrical cactuses, for um, dumpling cactuses, buttons, and um, different shaped cactuses will all go flat to the surface. And that's a, also a show of how... Uh, how much, uh, if they need watering or not. It's, a uh, middle of March. It was a March harvest. <laughs>